Hey guys, it's Corv Ross and Web6 News. Today we're looking at the patch notes for the lab test server January 15th, 2024. And this test server session is planned to go on until the 22nd. And this is a lab test server. So this isn't like a mid-season test server, stuff like that. This has got a bunch of stuff in it, which will be coming in the future. So this is way off. But there's also stuff in here that will very much show up probably very quickly in the mid-season patch. So let's go through operator balancing and we start with Ace. So his breach in charge is now going to take 4 seconds instead of 3.2 seconds to go off. So a little bit slower, but overall not a huge change. We've got Maverick who is gaining smoke grenades in his secondary gadgets. Thunderbird who is gaining deployable shields, so both not losing anything. And then Capcan is losing impact grenades gaining a bulletproof camera. Then we've got the ballistic shield change. So this is all the shield operators like Blitz, Fuse and Monty. They're now able to sprint while their shield is equipped. So of course, just similar to what we've seen with Blitz. They can also now push through full health barricades. So one press of the button and you just barrel one through. Quite incredible. We've also got a free look as well. So you can face a shield at your enemies, but then look around for traps and such. You've also got the ability to now carry the hostage with the shield out. And you can also throw your projectiles from behind the shield. So things like smoke grenades. The normal melee has also been removed, so this is the ability to actually down someone with a melee attack. That no longer is the case, you knock them back and you give them a little bit of damage as well. And they've also removed hip fire, so you will need to aim over your shield to fire your weapon. And then they have gone and added a new suppression effect, so when the shield is taking damage, you get suppressed. This just means that basically you cannot sprint when you're taking fire, at least from a fully automatic gun or a shotgun. Pistols won't have enough suppression power for that and most likely DMRs as well. And this is all fully tested on the Core Rush channel so you can go see how it all works there. Then we've got the G36, it is getting increased recoil in vertical and horizontal. And then we've also got the SMG which is getting a nerf as well, reducing the damage to 32 from 35, so quite small change. Then we've got the Spaz 15 which is Cav's weapon and it's getting a buff and a nerf, so it's reduced first shot kick, which I think is awesome, and then it's going to get increased lateral recoil. After playing with it, I think overall this is a buff to the weapon. Now, something not mentioned in the patch notes is that they've also added in the controller lean option, and this is in the test server as well. Of course, right now on PC, you've got to plug a controller to go check it out, but you get a pop-up letting you know that the controller lean behavior has been updated. You can go in and you can toggle this on in the settings, and you can now use they're lean while not aiming down sights in Siege's gameplay with a controller. And it should be coming to controller within the next month. And then there's a range of bug fixes with one of them being one that hasn't been fixed in many years and that is Cav's Elite Pistol. It appears that they're going to actually solve the problem of that not being able to be equipped and maybe it will finally be fixed. But this is not a patch that is coming to the live servers yet. This is on the lab test server. Presumably a bunch of this will make it of course into the mid-season patch and that might hit sometime after this lab test server is done presumably but we will have to wait and see. And this video is just about these patch notes so if you do want to check out the full breakdown and run through of testing on these new changes you can check that out on the core Ross channel. Anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.